What's going on, everybody? Welcome back, and welcome to the BeatMajors.net. I hope everybody is having a good start of 2017. I know things are going really great for us. A lot of great goals, a lot of goals in general on the list for the year. Um, but today... We're back. Just another short video, man. Um, not too much going on in this one. We just kind of want to show you guys because I know this is something that a lot of people don't know. A lot of people don't. They overlook this um, when making beats. And this is kind of a vital thing that you need to do when making your beats, especially especially when you're you're working with bass and things like that. Um, a lot of people, you know, they'll throw an 808 or they'll throw a bass in the, in the beat and not know or not be in the, the proper key. Um, so they take forever trying to find, you know, a, the specific key of the 808. Um, you know, there's many ways of figuring this out. You know, you can also, you, you can always, you know, use your keyboard to figure it out. Um, there's other ways that a lot of other producers have, but our way, um, is just something short and sweet. So basically what I'm going to show you guys here is we have an 808 here and with this 808, basically, um, you know, it, it's it's not an, it's not in key of uh what it's supposed to be um for some reason i don't know a lot of kits or a lot of producers they sell kits they they have these kits and they put these kits out but they never tune the 808 so i'm just going to kind of show you guys a quick little tip little trick whatever um just to kind of show you how to get you know your 808 um in tune so basically when you put an 808 or you put any type of bass um in fl what happens is the 808 like i said again it's just not in key so you'll hit it you know you'll hit that 808 a few times and that's right on the c key that's right on c5 right there um but what can happen or what you can do is this drag it over to edison or you can right click hit edison or control e um when you're when you select that sound and then you know that'll come up here in your edison what you do is you you want to click this and you want to click well, let me say what it is. I don't want to just say click this, but right here next to your wrench and your scissors, there's like a little uh, like flag looking button. And that's really actually the marker button. This is how you make markers when you're chopping samples and things like that. But you just click that one time. You hit detect pitch regions. So again, um, find you an 808, hit control E or right click and go to edit or just drag it over into an Edison. Um, then you go up here. Um, right here where it's like a little look in the little flag looking thing and it's basically for your markers you just click that and then you hit geez come on and you hit uh detect pitch regions so now what's going to happen is this whole region of where the the 808 pretty much hits onto you know it resonating it stops right here until it goes into a, a either a higher or lower key sometimes you know if it resonates longer it'll tell you but this one it didn't tell us so as you can see we're in c2 but again like i said once you throw stuff in fl usually it's in c5 so you're gonna go okay let me go here then let me go to my uh you know this 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 uh you can either go into your envelope or you can go to the ranch it doesn't matter you just want to see this keyboard here um so once you're done with that once you do that then you go over here and you find your key and it'll tell you you know like right here your root note is b4 um it'll say a4 uh c4 you're gonna go down here because it says right here right here c2 so this would be the c2 but right here is where it's gonna be at because the black keys um that's kind of what the pound sign is. I'm not too familiar with, you know, minor, major, you know, different keys like that. Like, it's not something that we actually know. And, you know, don't let someone tell you you have to learn that. Like, you don't have to, but it's definitely a good rule of thumb, something to something to uh, to know, you know, just for small things like that. You know, someone's like, yo, what key is this in? Oh, it's in, you know, C, whatever, you know, and you can go ahead and just hit that key. But again, basically, all you do is, you know, get you an 808. Um, once you have it on the step sequencer, it'll come up like this. You can right click, go to edit, or you can hit control E. It'll come up in the Edison. And then you hit the marker button right here. You click that. You hit detect pitch regions. And what that'll do is that'll bring up these markers and it'll just show you that first area right here of where the 808 or where the bass is actually supposed to be, what key it's actually supposed to be in. So now when you hit the C5 key, it's way up there now. It's way at the top. 
because now you have it in the proper key and in order for you to use it the, the proper way um we need to be down you know in a lower octave now there it is after we've you know um went down an octave on our keyboard and we hit the right key which is as you can see right there c2 so again like i said this was just come something kind of short this is something that i feel like is missing out there for a lot of producers um a lot of people are showing you different ways but again you know this is just our way you know another way for you to try out if you want to if you need to at any point in time um but yeah hope you guys got some value out of that please please like subscribe share um tell everyone about the channel <laughs> but until next time as i always say guys peace